Today we are going to discuss about structural heart diseases. Heart is a four chambered structure. It has got two upper chamber, two lower chamber and there is always a wall between these two chambers and then there are valves which allow the flow of blood from one chamber to the other only in one direction. So when we say structural heart disease, it is one of the structures of the heart has got damaged. So there can be birth defect where there are holes in the heart or this could be acquired disease where the valve with age they become either very narrowed which is called as stenosis or they start leaking which is called as regurgitation. Now in India because of the increasing longevity we are getting acquired valve structural heart disease like with age the calcium get deposited into the valve so they become defective and they either start leaking or they become very narrow. Now these valve problem can cause significant symptoms in a patient they can have uh, breathlessness, chest discomfort, palpitations, they can have giddiness, dizziness, they can have blackouts and because of the growing population the structural heart interventions to treat these patients have become very uh, important to understand how can they be treated. So traditionally there are open heart surgeries which can help to uh, treat these valves, replace these valves but now with more advanced treatment like TAVI, TAVR, uh, Mitra clip and tri clip, trick valve uh, pulmonary valve implantations, lot of these diseases can now be treated under local anesthesia or a short general anesthesia without any open heart uh, surgery, without cutting open the chest bone through percutaneous or transcatheter approach which are the most advanced treatment. Uh, the diagnosis of these diseases are basically done when the person first comes with the symptoms and then echocardiography is one of the most important tests to diagnose these. Uh, the help of other tests like CT scan of the heart, then there are certain tests like cardiac cath where we do these procedures in a cardiac catheterization laboratory which are minimally invasive, non-invasive uh, techniques to diagnose these heart disease. You have to lead a healthy life to prevent any kind of disease in the body. There is nothing per se to prevent a valve disease from progressing. If somebody has been diagnosed valve disease in an early stage, then continuous monitoring is very important and managing your blood pressure, cholesterol, all those things will prevent the further progression of uh, these uh, structural or valvular heart disease as well. Uh, thank you very much.